Hi, and welcome to week 28 of U.S. history. So this week, we'll be diving into the captivating world of um, the 1930s, which was a remarkable era in the history of the United States. We'll be exploring five key topics that shed light on this transformative period in American history. So we'll start by tracing the growth of radio and movies in the 1930s and their cultural impact. The 1930s witnessed the rise of mass media, with radio and movies becoming increasingly popular forms of entertainment. Radio programs such as dramas, comedies, and news broadcasts brought families together in their living rooms, fostering a sense of national unity and shared experience. Meanwhile, the Golden Age of Hollywood produced iconic films that provided escapism during the hardships of the Great Depression, reflecting the dreams and aspiration of the American people. Next, we'll be exploring the relationship between the New Deal and the arts. Uh, so during the Great Depression, President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal aimed to provide relief, recovery, and reform to address the economic crisis. As part of these efforts, various New Deal programs supported artists, writers, and performers through initiatives such as the Works Progress Administration, the WPA, and the Federal Theater Project, the FTP. These programs not only provided employment for struggling artists, but also enriched American culture by promoting the creation of public art, music, theater, and literature. We'll then move on to taking a look at the major themes of literature in the Depression era. Literature in the 1930s reflected the social and economic upheaval of the times, with themes of poverty, inequality, disillusionment, and the search for hope and meaning prevalent in many works. Writers such as John Steinbeck, whose novel, The Grapes of Wrath, depicted the struggles of Dust Bowl migrants and Richard Wright's native son explored racial injustice, captured uh, such uh, stories and novels, captured the essence of the era and gave voice to the experiences of ordinary Americans. Moving on, we're gonna be explaining some of the stock market reforms that took place in the depression era. The stock market crash of 1929, as you know, led to widespread financial panic and economic downturn prompting calls for, reg for reg regulatory reforms to prevent future crises. In response, the Securities Act of 1933 and the Securities Exchange Act of 1934 were passed to regulate the sale of securities and establish the, Sec the Securities and Exchange Commission, known as the SEC, to oversee the securities industry. These reforms aim to restore confidence in financial markets and protect investors from fraudulent practices. Finally, we'll be analyzing some of the changing dynamics in Washington that took place in the 1930s. So at the time, there was a significant shift in government policies and priorities, as President Roosevelt's New Deal introduced sweeping reforms to adjust the challenges of the Great Depression. Roosevelt's administration implemented unprecedented measures to stimulate economic recovery, expand social welfare programs, and regulate industries. The era also witnessed the emergence of new political alliances and tensions, as various interest groups and ideologies clashed over the direction of government intervention in the economy. So in conclusion, the 1930s were a time of profound change and resilience in American history. From the rise of mass media to the impact of the New Deal on the arts, literature, stock market reforms, and the dynamics of Washington, this era continues to shape our understanding of the challenges and triumphs of the past. By studying these key topics, we gain insight into the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring quest for progress and justice in times of adversity. So I hope that you found this preview for the week to be fruitful. Uh, thank you. I look forward to seeing you and working with you all in class. Thank you.